Hi everybody, welcome to week five. Um, this chapter we're working on is Cultivating Positive Identities from our text, How to Be a Positive Leader by Jane Dutton and Gretchen Spreitzer. So I'd like to, I would personally like to start integrating the GIVE model into my daily work routine. The GIVE model explains four of the most common ways that a person might respond to who are you? I am growing. An example of this would be growing into your position in a company, um, such as gaining leadership skills, um, and then also influencing others. I am virtuous. This is giving time to improve the company organization. And I, was, I am esteemed, worthy of positive regard, and feeling positively about defining characteristics in the group in group affiliations. So why should we care about positive identities? So my questions for you are in your our person or why do you personally think that we should care about these positive identities in our different organizations and workplaces? When people see themselves growing at work and becoming more capable, they are more likely to experience positive emotions and to persist through adversities. I like to give opportunities that cultivate growth within my own organization. It typically causes the employee to be more engaged with not only each other, but then also the residents that we care for. This increases positive relationships throughout the building, and in return, uh, more positive outcomes for our residents that we care for. The example on page 57, I'm going to read it for you, was very interesting just because it relates to healthcare. But people who construct more positive identities are also better able to cope with threats to their identity, such as being criticized harshly or demeaned at work. So the example is this. Consider hospital cleaners who often experience devaluation at work because of their low professional status relative to doctors, nurses, and administrators. They are also judged by their dirty work responsibilities, which society generally views as undesirable. So in this example, a lady named Candace Phillips, she was a hospital cleaner in a cancer unit, constructed a positive, virtuous self-identity as healer and care provider for patients and their families. She was motivated to work to engage in additional helping behaviors to experience increased personal satisfaction, enjoyment, and meaningfulness. Positive identi identity construction also generates more diverse, high-quality relationships at work, which are important resources for individuals and organizations. So some strategies for cultivating positivity. Uh, positive self-view should be reinforced by behaviors that are consistent with the leader's positive identity claims. So positive identity infusion one, use positive identity labels and people can take on positive identities and they are people that take on positive identities are more likely to engage or more likely to engage in desirable behaviors. Positive identity infusion two is the design developmental agendas and monitor your growth and positive identity number three is facilitates reflected best self-engagement leadership which involves actively helping all members of organizations to construct more positive identities of themselves so that it wouldn't necessarily be just your department but from my standpoint it would be my nursing department um, EVS services kitchen staff office staff. So my other question for you is how as a leader do you help facilitate growth within your organization?